Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you've just seen, I'm up at the Glenfinnan Monument and uh, the reason for today's visit is I'm going to show you some alternative viewpoints. I've been up here many times and I've taken quite a lot of photographs from angles which people have told me they've never seen a photo from that angle before. So I'm going to show you one or two of them. Now, this is the standard view. This is the one that most people come away with. You've got the monument and then you've got these mountains in the background. I think that one there's Skurgubis in. But, uh, you know, this is the one most people get because it's, it's the view you get from the visitor centre. But there are quite a few other, other viewpoints. Right, so this is kind of alternative viewpoint one and one that you'd be surprised to find that very few people actually take the trouble to do and basically all I've done is come to the other side of the monument so rather than including the loch in the background you're including the, well today, misty mountains in the back and just along the bottom there you've got the, the Glenfinnan viaduct or the Harry Potter bridge as everybody knows it now as so that's the first location and by doing it from shooting from here, obviously you've got um, the monument, you've got those mountains, but you've also got some interesting foreground, because so you can you know you can find some pools and puddles and there's an old tree there actually. I might pop over there and try and include the old tree. Yeah, this is actually quite an interesting angle. That tree's not always here, as you might imagine. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm working with what's the, the conditions that are prevalent today. And today that includes a little bit of mist up in the hills. Uh, pretty much non-stop rain. And these things that have been washed up on the on the shoreline. So I've been messing around with a couple of different angles. Using the, the tree, see you lose it there. So I've been using the tree as both a frame, you know, like between these two branches here like that. And also from over on this side, you can get a slightly better angle as well. And kind of just using it as a, a foreground interest really. This is another alternative viewpoint, and if I'm honest, it's one that I've never shot from before because I just noticed it. Uh, you've got these channels here. You've, there, there's a few all the way along the lock side, but these channels and this particular one kind of leads the eye up to the monument again. Still got those misty mountains in the background, although the mist is coming down, so they're kind of disappearing a bit. But because the water's that bit brighter, it's forming quite a useful leading line to draw the eye up to the darker monument. So that's quite a nice shot that. If that's what I'll put it on the screen just now. So, as you can probably see, this is the old cemetery. The, if you're looking for the, the lochs just down there. So, 
This kind of works, I've, I've shot this before in the snow and it works when there's snow in the hill behind because obviously that gives you a bit of separation between the monument and the distant background. It's not quite as much snow as I'd like but, but it looks quite nice. So, as I say, I've, I've actually shot this particular view before but I'll do another one just to illustrate the point. To reach the cemetery, just walk to the monument and then take the, the fence-lined path that runs to the right as you're facing the loch, and it's, it's right there, you can't miss it. As you can see, here we are here. I'm not quite sure how old some of those graves are, but it makes for an interesting foreground, and that's what this is all about. So this is the viewpoint that most visitors get. Either with the monument to one side and the mountains in the back, or the monument dead square. So don't you be that person when you come and get some alternative viewpoints. Interestingly enough, as I was shooting this video, um, a carload of maybe about six people came along and uh, all six of them took exactly the same photograph and then piled back into the car and drove off. So it's worth taking a wee wander around. Okay, now my last viewpoint. Needs a little bit of a effort to get to it, but it's well worth the view. And it's here, along this walkway. And it takes you down to the riverside where there's some lovely views of the river as well actually but then up onto a small hill where you get a very unique viewpoint of the, the monument I should probably point out um, <laughs> it's March so it's not exactly high season uh, I got here at half seven in the morning and there were already cars in the car park so this place fills up very quickly now thanks to a certain boy wizard so uh, if you come in here try and come early otherwise you will struggle to park right, well that's a pain the way is closed Basically, it looks like, according to the signs there, that the bridge is unsafe. Basically, what you need to do is cross over this bridge, follow the path round, and then there's a path leads you up to the top of this little hill. And from the top of that hill, there is an absolutely brilliant view of the monument. And, interestingly, if you do a 180 degrees and the weather's in your favour, there's also an amazing view of Ben Nevis. <sighs> but not today. What I'll do is I'll... What I'll do is I'll break all the rules of uh, YouTube and I'll put a couple of photographs that I've taken from that location on the screen just now. The first one will be of the monument and the second will be of uh, Ben Nevis looking the other way. That's a shame. Right, so here's another alternative viewpoint. If you take a little walk just along that boardwalk here, not very far, maybe about 20 yards, 30 yards, 
you reach a gap in the trees where you get a, a nice view of the monument. Again, it works best when there's a bit of snow or maybe fog or something like that, something to give you a bit of separation from the mountains in the back. But again, it's another alternative viewpoint. So, <laughs> I decided to come up to the official viewpoint which is actually one I've never been to before but not bad I'm not quite there yet but So, oh, there you have the famous Harry Potter Bridge the Glenfinnan Viaduct and uh, in the opposite direction. But not a bad view. That's Loch Shiel uh, and the Glenfinnan Monument. Not a bad view. I'll grab a couple of cliched tourist shots while I'm here and I'll pop them on the screen. So yeah, just to recap, the path there is the path that leads from the visitor centre. That's the one that most people grab their shots from. The more energetic ones come up here and grab this shot as well. What I was doing was going beyond the monument down to the waterside and shooting back the way. And also the old graveyard's just in there somewhere. The walkway that is currently blocked runs through these trees and the little hill that I couldn't shoot from because I couldn't get access to was just there. So hopefully it shows you that if you're going to visit what is a very very busy spot in the summer and is, a, is on most people's uh, bucket lists if you're coming to Scotland for the first time then uh, you know take a little wander about. You will find that there are some alternative low, uh, viewpoints. There you go, right on queue. It's not the Jacobite, but there's a train over the viaduct. Well, that's a first for me. <laughs> I've never been up there before. Um, if you're planning on coming up to the viewpoint, just be aware it's, it's not particularly far. It's probably about three, four minutes walk, but it's reasonably steep. It's a good path though, so it shouldn't be any echoes, just uh, give yourself plenty of time if you're planning on coming up to see the train because uh, you'll probably end up having to stop to catch your breath in a couple of spots. I don't know, I certainly did. But uh, yeah, that's it, yeah, there's done. That's the, that's the path, so as you can see, it's fairly easy to follow. Don't attempt it in stilettos though. So that's us for another video, hope you enjoyed. Hopefully I've given you a couple of ideas for alternative viewpoints if you ever visit the Glenfinnan Monument, or the Viaduct for that matter. Uh, don't forget to give us a little thumb, thumbs up if you liked, and so hit subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, do consider subscribing to my newsletter. It's one newsletter a month, but gives you a lot more behind the scenes information and even a couple of unseen photographs so it's worth doing I'll leave a link in the description below in the meantime catch you in the next one cheers bye